banishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all. And then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft, empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it, useless really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love or no, as long as Sebastian haunts you, you will never be safe. You must accept this. Sebastian haunts me. You aren't red. What's of safety when we can love a little longer? Perhaps. The meaning of our meeting is ours to define. Then time moves on. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that... Who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman, jailed. I mean, as wolf belts go, it's pretty. But have more than enough of it's them. It's barbaric. Fucking boss. An officer must be just. 
or else it all unravels. Helen is right. The truth lies down there, somewhere. I suspect Deborah is at it again. Circumstances aside, this is quite romantic. Swarming hordes of spectres aren't to your liking. They are if I'm with you. mind. Not as romantic as you'd thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. Try it and I'll cut the rope. View. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to charm me, lady. I'll warn you. It should definitely work. Vanishes. So you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. Thank you. When you're searching for the source of the wrath of the hordes of the dead, it's nice to bring a friend. I fear their anger justified. This place knows much tragedy. Tell us a little more about Helen. I'm not sure what more I could tell you. My wife is a strong woman. What you see is what you get. Every day I feel blessed to have a partner and best friend by my side. I had never expected her. When she came into my life, I came home to myself. <laughs> Made me want to be a better man. Oh, I know the feeling. She gave me a handkerchief. I died clutching it. A symbol of our love. She was and is ever in my thoughts. She is my world. Now until the end. Pennington did a great and terrible thing. Your death must feel like an outrage. I am a soldier. I took the shilling. Death is part of the bargain. One dies, so many may live. I served the sick and the dying. When my turn came, I was ready. But now, in the fort, there is no noble sacrifice. One dies, so all may also die. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. We must press on. Stay close. Whenever you're ready. Ah, oh, 
Fantastic. I think you can get down from here. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I barely had time to bid them farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier. being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Think you could take on a ghost? of these soldiers were angry. Soldiers weren't spared. Those not taken by sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. Car upon car rose to the surface, piled high with ore. Told Gray the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Well, fancy working here with the furnaces running. The work men did here was meant to make New Eden rich. Just like the one we found earlier. Costs are a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. abandoned their work when sickness hit. They worked till they could work no more. Stuck, damn it. 
There's a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that? Uh oh. They're coming. On your toes. Reinforcements. Stay on your feet, Red. Get lost, won't you? Watch your step. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me, please. What's this? A makeshift checkpoint. The halfway mark. Are they expecting to face a regiment? In a way. We knew the dying would try to find them. Tried to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. Can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive. We need to stop at some point. Here would be all right. Harsh rules, Sebastian. Yours? I regret the necessity. Why would Pennington cut off the food? He decided we weren't worth saving. Damn him to hell for it. Reason enough for a spectre to rage. Press on. The living quarters are ahead, if you insist. This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heart felt apologies. I suppose the memory was just too painful. What is 
is that? This is no ordinary specter, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we may change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link. Red, look at this. What's that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Have you heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on, let's break these chains. Voices from the dead ripple here. They told us to stay put for a few days and we listened. When days turned to weeks, we made do. Now food's running low. And they've bolted the doors. We must act now, before it's too late.
Red, come look. Red, come see this. Wasn't I always? Don't fret, we're coming for you. This creature, I, I don't think you're ready to face it. Turn back. Why? I, I, I don't know. I thought maybe it should be. See you, whatever is down there. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. Lay down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me! I'm not your foe! Obey the order! Put the pickaxe down! Your uniform would protect your son! Your officer will bury us all! He'll bury us all! He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else?
four friends. Watch out. Spectre position. There's more of Sebastian, what is this place? It's not... It's... It's only... The people were angry. And for good reason. Brave will come. They change the guard when they bring the food. The old ones scarper while the new ones are still busy with the victuals. While they have their hands full, we take them. Weapons, sabotage plans? Just how bad was the revolt? Not as bad as Pennington burying us all alive. That's no answer. Right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else. What's this? A black market shopping list. Can't be. We had a few rations. Many starved. Sebastian Priest, in the mine you were to tend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for it. You turned into a tyrant until revolt emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they, they must have gone mad down in the dark there. Their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I, I died a hero. You lied to yourself, to your men, to us. You lied to your wife. Why did you really come back? I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. You must make Pennington pay for his crimes! You'll not get away with this, Sebastian! Come back here, you coward! 
I don't think he's coming back. Path is clear. We go deeper. Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? Or would be? Perhaps. Sebastian wants Penny to be finished up. I'm not sure why. Christ, where are we now? Left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right. This was an atrocity. But she blamed the wrong man.
the sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself and hope ran out. But someone stole this fella's head in a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody mud, though. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? Sebastian is a doll. Stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. Helen relies on her husband. The truth might ruin her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. soon be out together. The stink has long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway.
We're getting close. Someone's left us a fire camp to use. These chains, an echo, I think. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. Pennington's presence gives it life. Another ghost rallying the wrath of lesser specters to its cause. This is about the agony of Deborah Comenius. Aye, and the guilt of the people of New Eden. Can you see it? Not yet. if we do. You're Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. are coming undone. This is your chance. So close. I 
Bad timing. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her. I can see the weaker links. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Overhead, the roof is crumbling. Damn it. Our last strike weakened the chains. Free her. I'm taking care of them. I need 
Help it, it. Thank you. Call on me, Red. It's coming after anything standing in its way. Bad timing. I can see the weaker links.
It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? The worst of men. Oh. When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, the faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. enough minds for a lifetime. Can we go now? What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish, Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Ellen's grip on power was already fragile. We found out that her husband was a spy. Is Pennington any more trustworthy? He let everyone suffer so he wouldn't have to face his own cruelty. Well, eventually, we'll get the dig sites. <laughs> What is it? The rush after the fight. It'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no poet. Hi. Do you, though? Hi. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. Stay exactly where you are. 
Jedi. This is mutiny. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Doom blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness, which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly, it's gone. Aye, the puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Don't get excited. You're still up to your neck in shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess I led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that, I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. Guilt eats you from the inside. You knew you should have braved the mines. You couldn't even bring yourself to do it. I choose to die in the light. There is nothing in the pit but darkness. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. We return with answers to find you in full mutiny. Why now, Helen? Sebastian returned, disturbed. I thought he'd left you dead in the mines. Your mission had failed. I could no longer wait. Captain, why did you send Sebastian Priest down the mine? I knew quarantine would be trying. A competent commander was required to keep order keep them alive long enough to recover. I chose my lieutenant. I erred. He was not competent. All died. Your husband was no hero, Mrs. Priest. You murdered him and now you take his honor too. Another nail in your well-earned coffin, Captain. So Helen, thing is... Not now. She's not ready. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling and my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. Deborah was no witch. The good and fearful folk of New Eden turned on her to protect themselves, and so did you. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Helen is misguided. Under Sebastian's malign influence, she will remain so. Yet Pennington is little better. Which way do you lean?
I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. You failed, Captain. As an officer. As a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on our hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. How Marath, how Gunja. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. Looks like the Nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. How often, Abigail, must we have this fight? How often must we argue? We shall argue until you hear. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman. Bright, sensitive kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. 
Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Aye, you did. And I regret my failure to my dying day and after it too. I was not speaking of our situation. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. No, I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead and sooner we'll be gone for good. You think I don't know this? So act like it. I'm not the enemy here. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. <sighs> Good night. Antea. Antea? I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to the stupid bloody island.